What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Dark Souls. This is Mr. Chad. Uh, a couple things have changed since last time. Um, I have actually upgraded some things. So now I have the Uchi Katana, as I mentioned in the very, very beginning of um, this entire playthrough. So the Uchi Katana is pretty damn fast. Um, it does not require you to hit something in order to move fast. So that's one great benefit. Uh, it has very quick stabs. Um, one that's a very long range stab, which is great. And it has this pretty awesome flashy stab, which you kind of stand still for a second and uh, do a slash. It's a very, very powerful sword, especially when you have it in the lightning form, which is what I have it in. Um, I can only upgrade it to lightning plus three because I actually need to get some more titanite chunks. And the only way to do that is to go into the ghost town, a.k.a. New Londo. So we are going to go down into New Londo and do this. Do this. I'm in a little bit better of a mood now. Um, last time I was <laughs> just really frustrated with myself, and uh, I hate doing poor play. I, uh, you know, I, I just hate poorly playing, especially for an audience. You know, you want to be good, or you want to at least have a semblance of being good. I know it's this game is sort of not. Uh, you can't really predict everything that's going to happen unless you're a speedrunner and you do one route over and over and over again. But yeah, I'm just not that good, so. We are gonna flip through here, though. So I went and I went ahead and bought some more transient curses, and uh, you can see a guy right here. Um, this is actually that guy in the very beginning. He eventually goes hollow if uh, you let him, or if you ring both the bells, he'll go hollow. Okay. So he's dead. I don't know if he drops anything. Oh, nest stock. Okay. Okay. Do I have my transient curses up? Um, okay, yeah, I do. I have six of them. That's good. That should get us through. Now, my lightning weapon is actually not as powerful as my fire weapon right now until it's fully upgraded, so... That's sort of the main point of this. Before I go down to the fire areas, I really want to upgrade that... Uh, that uh, Uchi Katana. Oh my goodness. So these guys aren't too difficult, as you can see, they die in one hit. Um, and they also drop additional transient curses. The only other way to uh, hit these guys is if you have a curse on you. Or if you have, I think it's, I don't know if it's a divine weapon or an occult weapon. Um, or maybe it's just simply called cursed. Um, but cursed weapons are the only only way to hit these guys, or something that is cursed. Um, okay, I guess you just sort of hit once. I'm gonna take this pretty slow because I know that they hide in the walls. And, uh, yeah. They definitely hide in the walls, and uh, you just want to be really careful. Um, yeah. Sometimes they'll try and grab you through the walls, like uh, that move right there. And they'll hug you and stab you a couple times. Oh, that scared the shit out of me. Oh my god. Bastard. <clears throat> so we could have gone here a lot earlier, but uh, we didn't, obviously, since we don't have to. Um, because we actually need... We needed the... Um, was it the Lord Vessel? In order to proceed in this place. Oh yeah, and so you see like a guy is like right here. Sucker. Uh, if you don't have the Lord Soul, then this place is pretty much pointless to go to. Unless you just want that little Firekeeper Soul, but that's for something entirely different. Let's take it really nice and slow. Because uh, I don't want to have to do this again. Oop, scared me. Oh, I guess she's not dead yet. Okay. Um, I have been completely overran by ghosts before, and it's that's simply running too fast through it. Oh, can't see. There we go. And you don't want to fall. For the love of crap, don't fall. And sometimes they attack from the top, as you saw there. And uh, sometimes they attack from the bottom, and you can see them along the bottom there. And as soon as I go over, they are going to start coming at me. Okay, they're going to stab and stab and stab. But I'm going to do something else. I'm going to sort of run through. 
I know I was going to say really nice and slow. But, uh, oh, I don't want to go there. Um, now becomes the ghost invasion. Uh, this is where just a ton of freaking ghosts will come out. Oh, okay, good. And we're going to kill them all when we're over here. Or kill a lot of them. Yeah, you see, like, like that insane amount of ghosts. Just holy crap. Just keep your distance. Don't get grabbed by that little thing and you should be okay. Um, this was mainly just to draw them out, because if you don't draw them out like this... Oh, can I get that? Oh, I don't think I can get that. And, uh, there's a guy right here. Okay. Oh, I don't want to get overran. Ouch. Let's, uh, jump away here. And, uh, the oh, can I get that? Can I get that? Oh, come on. Come on, I want you. Ah, uh, I can't get it. <laughs> I don't want to risk falling off. Um, but they'll actually drop other transient curses, and they'll also drop their daggers. Um, the daggers that you get from them are, uh, they're actually able to hit. So, you can use that too, if you're not comfortable with, uh, only using transient curses. Speaking of which, I need to probably cast them. Oh, I don't have to yet. Good. And, uh, this will actually be... I don't want to be on here. Leave me alone. And we could jump on top of there, but I'm not going to, because, yeah, the ghost will come through the roof, and it's not, not a good deal. Actually, maybe I can. Um, yeah, let's just go. Whoa. That was a bit weird. Okay. And if you get close to them, that little huggy move actually doesn't do anything. I, I'm not really sure why. Oh, hey, buddy. And they're coming from the woodworks here. Aha! Transient curse is perfect. Okay. Is there anything else along the sides here? I don't think there is. I don't think there is. Uh, there's another spot you can drop to right here. I think... I need to I need to undo the water first. Oh my gosh, I can't see. This part makes me nervous. Somebody goes uh hit all the buckets. Or whatever bowls. Okay. Oh shit, I need my transient curse. No 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 Actually, if you notice, that girl has a little baby. The little ghost has a has a ghost baby. The ghost has a ghost baby. And I'm going to run out of here while I recast my transient curse. So I don't want to get overwhelmed while I do it. Ouch. 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 Stop. Stop it. Quit it. I hate you people. Or former people. I don't want to fall off here while I swing. Oh. Oh, this is making me nervous. Oh. Alright. <laughs> I get I get really nervous really easily with these frickin' bastards, because they can fly anywhere they want. Um, this is all in the name of getting up to this ladder here, so maybe she'll follow us up here. I can still hear her. Maybe she'll come up through the uh, through the ceiling. Will she? Will she? I don't think so. Okay, whatever. Well, you very I you did. Okay, got the key to the seal. Yep, 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 yep. So this guy just gave us the seal to go <laughs> kill the four kings and the four. Oh yeah, and you can also get your curse broken here. I'm also gonna buy a few transient curses. Um, because I will be back here. And there's also resist curse, I guess, but uh, I don't need that since there's only one place in particular that actually has curses that are really bad, and uh, we've already passed it, so no more curses for us, hooray! Ow. Ow. Ah, her baby is attacking me. That's not very nice. All right, excellent. So we killed ourselves some ghosties. 
I think there's a few more here, but I don't remember exactly where. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, there's one. Ha -ha. Front flip. Ha -ha. Okay, so now we need to undo the seal. Oh. Hey, buddy. So the seal is actually... Uh, the, the whole place was sealed off by water, obviously. Um, but that was in order to keep the four kings and the... Uh, I, I, that really annoys me that I can't get that thing. Um, to keep the four kings inside of their cell. Which is at the bottom of the lake, essentially. At least that's why I think it, it did. I don't know for certain. Um, so this is the place to see. We can get a composite bow, yay! Yeah, if I ever replay this game, I want to actually do like a, uh, like a uh, genuine strength build with the Great Club. It's actually a very, very fun way to play. Uh, the Great Club can stagger everything, including bosses. Okay, so let's crack open this gate. It's a pretty cool cutscene, so we'll watch that too. And it uh, floods into the Valley of the Drakes. So like I said, the main reason why I came here first was to get the Titanite Chunks. And the Titanite Chunks will allow us to upgrade the Lightning Weapon to the max. And then uh, when we get the Lightning Weapon to the max, we can go to... Um, uh, what's it called? Uh, it just totally escaped me for some reason. Oh, what am I doing? Uh, we can go to the Demon Ruins, and we don't have to use a Fire Weapon, which is great. So, yeah. Because Fire Weapons will do basically 0 to, like, 25% damage in the Demon Ruins. It's basically completely worthless. And uh, Fire is actually the thing that most enemies are resilient to. So... In the end game, anyway. In the end game, a lot of enemies are resistant to it. And I have totally forgotten. You can see just how many fucking dead bodies are here. Like, holy shit, there's so much. It's disgusting in here. Um, these guys right here are our targets. We are aiming to kill these guys. Because they are the ones that drop what we seek. So let's get those. Um, one thing we will do is put on the Covetous Gold Serpent Ring. And, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll walk through it before we start, f um, farming in earnest and I can just cut the episode. Um, but yeah, you can just see how many people that the Four Kings murdered. Um, this is one of the few cities that, or what, one of the many cities that fell, um, to that, the, the Curse of the Undead. But the Four Kings are actually offered tremendous power in exchange for souls, so... You can kind of see, like, how they get corrupted, or the the results of their corruption, anyway. Hey, friend, how are you? Now, they can actually drop two Titanite, titanite Chunks, um, if you're lucky. You can also get um, Titanite Slabs from these guys, which are also um, quite rare. Those are insanely rare, actually. But if you're looking to farm a whole bunch of them, this is where you want to go. I know there's a bunch of guys here, so I'm just going to wait. Oh, yeah, there he is. It's so dark in here. And uh, I'm just going to go with the safe option of backstabbing them, because they actually do quite a bit of damage. And uh, this is the same armor that you would get if you joined the PvP Covenant. And, um, yeah, you end up looking like the, these guys here. Uh, there's a giant blob over there. I'm going to kill this guy first. Oh. Oh. Stabaroo. Oh, he's actually coming towards me. Ouch. See, he also has a little dark hand, which is kind of cool. Um, it blocks all damage, but it's it's easy to, to get staggered. Okay, this guy's going to pop out some evils. Some evil skulls that explode. And uh, he doesn't actually die. Okay. And he's 
gonna spear me. Now this guy will stay permanently dead. Oh, I forgot that he did the swing. You only kill him like once or twice too, so it's just like an amalgamation of heads, essentially like gooey heads. Now there's another dude in here somewhere, where is he? Oh. Whoa. Okay, good. Uh, where is he? Oh, here he is. Come here, friend. Yep. Come on. I want you. So these are actually, the, the Dark Wraiths are, these guys right here, these guys were actually formerly knights that worked under this kingdom, and they got corrupted by this uh, serpent who offered them great power, like I mentioned before. Okay, I think that about covers all this stuff. Soul of Brave Warrior. Yeah, I think uh, I think this is covered. Good. All right, so let's move along. It's weird not to have my flippy ring anymore. I'm so used to that like that awesome recovery time. Also, do not walk into water that looks like it has a pitfall because it's actually a pitfall. You don't actually swim in this game. You sink very fast. Aw, oh, man. I'm getting no titanite chunks. That's alright. That was bound to happen. Um, before we go in there, I'm gonna try and trigger a few dudes. Um, where are they at? There's one. You just don't want them to ambush you, really. Sucker. Yeah! Oh! Hit him for 666. Oh. Lovely. Truly, I am the devil. Alright. Um, let's check our time here. What is our tame? Okay, so we're only going for about 17 minutes. It feels like we've been doing this a lot longer, actually. Um, yeah. Okay, so here's a dude. We're gonna make him come to us. <clears throat> it's always a good idea to just draw guys out. I know I haven't done that in the entire run, but um, usually their aggro site is... You can just aggro, aggro them based on site. I can't remember what's in here. Ooh, a Titanite chunk. Wonderful. I think... Uh, oh, and he dropped something too. What is it? Titanite chunk! Yay! Alright. So what do we need? Uh, so we got three. Uh, we're going to need five in total in order to get to the end of the upgrade cycle. Okay, nothing over there. Um... I know that there's something down here, so let's go down here. But I, I loved, when I first came here, it's just, this is such awesome scenery. There's, it's, to see this, like, gooey, gross stuff everywhere. And, um, you know, mountains of skulls and just, uh, it, it has great scenery. You can kind of see exactly what happened to the city. <clears throat> and if the music had any, or if there was any such music in here... I'm sure it would crescendo as soon as you saw all those frickin' bodies. There is actually several evils in here. One of which being a Dark Knight that's coming out here, or Dark Wraith. Six, six, six! Yeah! Six, six, six! The number of the beast! Alright. Couldn't sing that song, but you know. Oh boy, that's right, there's one more. There's one more. Everybody. Oh, almost got him. Oh, oh. Wow, that spear can actually go quite a long ways. I'm gonna I'm gonna back up a bit. Um Okay. I guess you can just sit there. Uh alright. Wow, whoa. Yay, tight night chunk. Alright, we just need one more, and we're good to go. Now since our stamina is so high, we can just keep swinging away. Oh, Okay. I'd say that's pretty successful. Oh, sweet. And we got all of our Titanite chunks. Fantastic. So we actually don't have to farm. I'm so happy. That makes this a lot simpler. 
Okay, and let's kill the last guy. Just in case we get something cool. I don't think we will, but never know. Alright, slice him up. Okay, so we are at a boss that is actually a damage rush, and we want to do as much humanly damage as possible. Um, one thing, we need this, the Covenant of Artorias. And the Covenant of Artorias will allow us to fall into the abyss. Which is uh, a very black area, and it goes on infinitely. You can literally run infinitely away from the from a bonfire in here. It's just utter blackness. And I know it has no features whatsoever, but for some reason I feel like... I don't know why, but this is like one of the best designed places because it literally makes you feel alone and completely and utterly helpless to the abyss. And even though it's just black, it's just the absence of anything. But, um, yeah. And you cannot take off this ring at any point during the battle. If you do, then you uh, you will die instantly. Okay, so we're gonna move this, move this around. Um, we got all of our stuff. He's weak to fire. Covenant of Artorias is up. Just making some final checks before I go, and uh, we are gonna want to pop power within. We want to kill these guys as fast as possible, and I mean as fast as possible. You really do not want to fuck around. If you do, you're gonna find yourself getting screwed. Alright, where's that first king? Where's he at? Where's he at? Aha! So the kings. It is a damage rush. So, the idea is to hit him as much as possible. Just like any other boss. But if you don't kill them fast enough, what will happen is uh, they will keep spawning over and over and over again. Come on. Where are you? Where are you? Aha! There you are, fool. Oop. I'm just gonna power through. Oh no! No 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 Ah he's sucking me Yeah. So he'll suck you dry. Okay. And uh they don't hit too hard against me anyway. Alright, next king is dead. You do not want them to swarm you, like, holy shit, that's a very bad idea. He's been hitting me several, several times. But uh, the idea is a damage rush, right? So you want to just not worry about it if you can help it. There we go, getting my MLG skills. Even that stab does basically nothing. Now it does something. Oh, back away. Ah! Alright, let's just heal once more for good measure. No, 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 ow. Okay, so you can see that king in the distance there. You want to kill this guy as soon as possible. Yay. Okay, sweet. Four kings are dead. Excellent. I was actually nervous going into this battle because of the fact that my fire scythe is not at maximum, but say lovey. Alright, so we got our first Lord Soul. And, uh, 
Yeah, in the utter blackness comes Koth. And this guy is actually the covenant leader of the PvP guild. Greetings, undead warrior. I am the primordial serpent, dark stalker Koth. Or Koth, the sorry. After you, the Anyways, what this guy is essentially saying is... Um, well, I'm not going to follow him. Not sir. Okay. Oh. Yep, yep, yep. And he'll go away. So, um, basically what he does is um, he, he tricks people into doing his dirty work, essentially, if you want to call it that. And since he knows that we just killed the four kings, his finest achievement, essentially, um, he wants to recruit us to bring about the next Dark Age, essentially. So the Dark Soul... Um, as you have heard probably countless times before, is, uh, actually, let's, let me think about this. I need to go to the Chamber of the Princess. Let's go. Uh, so the Dark Soul was taken by the Furtive Pygmy in the very, very beginning. Um, I didn't actually show you guys that video, but I figured that you've probably already seen it. Um, so when he took it, he sort of secreted it away, and after a while, humanity was, um, becoming a thing, so... Not only were there gods, now that there was there was humanity coming from this soul, but the thing about humanity is that it corrupts pretty much absolutely in this game, or in this universe, humanity is a thing that can corrupt you very fast. It's it's like it's sort of said that like humanity grants you like a warmth or some sort of. Um, it gives you like a a sense of accomplishment or something like that. It's kind of like the hopes and dreams condensed into one little sprite, and you feel that whenever you use them or you know absorb a soul or kill somebody. Essentially, so humanity is very very important. Is this guy still following me? Oh whatever, he can fire his little bow. Um, so. They got corrupted by all the humanity gathering. And now they... Yeah, they became the four kings that you saw just a second ago. But you can see that they were actually pretty powerful. I mean, they couldn't really touch my armor, but that's just because I'm more badass. Okay, and now the Titanite Slab. We have reached maximum lightning damage. Hooray! I will come at soon. Now we can kill some stuff. These guys are actually uh, not weak to lightning at all. But uh, you can see just how fast this freaking thing is. It's way, 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 way faster than the scythe, actually. So it's pretty badass. Ooh. Die. Die, die, die. But not only that, but it actually takes a lot less stamina. Because it's not a halberd, which is great. Okay, let's... Uh Traverse back to um, where are we gonna go next? I don't want to use my homework bones. Um, I only have five left, so I'm trying to save them. Where do we want to go next? Where do we want to go? Um, <laughs> um, actually, I think what we said was we were gonna go to the, the demon ruins, right? Is that what I, was, what I said before? Okay, you come here. And these guys are actually not weak to lightning. Um, the, anything in An Orlando is strong to lightning, so... Since the god's power is actually lightning, if you uh, know anything about the lore. But uh, fire is sort of like a forgotten... A forgotten art that only a few people know. And lightning even less so, because it was used by Gwyn to usher in the Age of the Gods, the Age of Fire, essentially. Alright, so let's go to the Demon Ruins. We now have sufficient items to uh, conquer it pretty easily, I think. And uh, I did not actually take out those Taurus Demons. So they're still there, but um, yeah, it's it can't be avoided. So let's go to... I'm going to go to Firelink Shrine and pick up 20 flasks, and then we're going to go to the Daughter of Chaos uh, place. And now begins the long string of 
boss kills, where we need to kill four guys. Actually, we just killed one of them. Oop, not, the, not that. Um, so we killed the four kings. Now we could, we're going to go down and kill the Bed of Chaos. And that will be our next kill. And then we're going to go kill Nido, which is in the catacombs. And then we're going to kill Seath. I usually leave Seath to the last because, I don't know, he's Seath. Doesn't really matter to me. You could kill Nido or Seath in any order that you want. But uh, the reason why I'm going down here is because, um, well, not only did I go to Anor Orlando first, the reason being is that I wanted my lightning sword. Well, now it's time to upgrade my fire sword to the max. Or my fire scythe, not my fire sword. Although we could use the Balder side sword if we really wanted to. And I was contemplating between that and the Uchi Katana. And the Balder side sword is pretty damn nice, but um, it's mainly better for PvP where it has insane reach. But uh, this is also pretty good for PvP because it actually causes bleed damage. And uh, after, after a certain amount of time, you're going to take an extra 300 damage. It's pretty, pretty sick. So it, it, it helps for putting on pressure in PvP. And um, against bosses and whatnot, it's even better. Okay, so we're going to slice them up. You can see I'm doing a way more damage than I used to. And lightning weapons actually traditionally do more damage than the fire weapons to certain enemies. Um, they actually have a higher elemental damage and a higher um, base damage, too. So I'm going to farm a little bit of souls. Souls, dark souls. Uh, let's kill the capper demons here. And I will lag a little bit. Actually, this is dangerous because I am lagging, so let's let's not do that. <laughs> I don't trust myself enough to do that. Okay. So get rid of those capper demons. Good. We're good, 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 good. And uh, let's get back to the laggy gold gate. And uh, this is uh, one of, I think, two golden gates. Uh, the others have already dissipated, so... Lightning is even more ideal for these guys here, these little crappy enemies. Let's kill the demon dude over here. Okay, and he's gonna jump. Oh, yeah. Look at that damage. It's so much faster than the scythe, it's insane. Good job. Alright. I'm telling myself good job. Now, pretty much the trick to this guy is just don't get grabbed. Oops. And don't get hit like that. Actually, I don't even know what the hell I'm doing. I could just... I just go away from this guy. I really actually don't need to fight him for any particular reason whatsoever. Oh my gosh. Video effects. Okay, sweet. We'll get this over here, but you can't remember what it is. Okay, let's cut him up. Okay. What's really nice if you have a great club, it's really, really fun to fight Capper Demons because you can actually stun them in two hits. And uh, you can always stun them, just stun them constantly, and they, they can't react to anything. Okay, so. Sealed by the great lord's power. Oh my gosh, I'm such a fool. Um, oh yeah. So I'll be right back. I forgot to do one thing. One, one thing. So, yeah. I'll be back in just a sec. One sec. Okay, so we are back in Firelink Shrine. Sorry about that. I somehow slipped my mind. But uh, what we are going to try and do... Um, well, first of all, I need to wake this dude up. Uh, I can't have any weapons in my hand while I do it. You. No, no, I'm fine. Come on. I'm fine. Well, wake up. 
Hey, cop. Alright. Lightning. If you try to hit him with, like, an actual hit, you're gonna kill him, and it's not gonna be very nice. Uh, where's that? I have so many weapons. I need to start putting them away. There you are. Okay. Oop. I didn't mean to flip away from you. Heavens! Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Alright. So he's gonna take us down into the kill of the first flame. Or at least the entrance to it. And uh, we I forgot to do this before. Okay. This is the fire link chamber. Yep, yep, I know it. All right, so let's put down the Lord Vessel. And I don't know how he's holding that so well. That just must be made of, like, foam or something. And uh, what you're going to do is you're going to offer the four souls to this little flame thing. And uh, then it will open up to the last boss. Very old school, very old school. So you can see that the golden gates are now dissipating. I should have done this earlier, but um, like I said, I just, it just slipped my mind for some reason. Yay. Alright. Now let's warp back to uh, Dar of Chaos, and we will call it right after that. So yeah, we got a lot done tonight. Um, or I guess today. Well, it is tonight, actually. But uh, we got a lot done, so we killed a few guys. We got our Uchi Katana up to plus five lightning, which is fantastic. We would now will have a pretty easy time dealing with the enemies in there. Um, yeah, so, all right, guys. I will talk to you later.